Hi, in this video we are going to design this scene in Blender 4.4. So stick around until the end. If you are interested in learning the latest 3D techniques, particularly in Blender, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Before we begin, let me introduce our Asset Distro website, where you can explore a variety of free and premium assets. We offer high-quality game-ready assets and also Blender projects, all of which you are free to use in any of your projects. So be sure to check out our store at store.blackcave.com. Here we have an empty scene in Blender. First, I need to import our model to the scene. Here we have a rhino.fpx model. Uh, you can download this model and also the textures from our asset store. First, let's drag it in. Here I need to disable animation, uh, which I already uh, disabled it and then press import fbx uh, it's so small i need to press s key and then scale it up all right now let's add the textures and create the material i can open shader editor window here instead of going to the shading uh, section here go to the shader editor press the Rhino model, um, it has a material, default material. I can uh, override it, but there's no need to do this. Let me show you uh, the textures. Here we have uh, many textures for body, for eye, and for horn. Uh, first, I need to drag, drag in the base color the diffuse color. Uh, drag it inside the blender uh, for the body and connect it to the base color. Color to the base color. And then press Z and go to the rendered or material preview to see the material. All right, here this is my diffuse or base color. Next, Let's import the normal map. For the normal map, I need to change the color space to non-color. RGB is useful for base color or emission. Uh, for roughness, metallic, and normal, I need to change it to no, uh, non-color. Then uh, connect the color to the uh, color input of the normal map node. You can add this node by pressing Shift A and search for normal map. If you don't have it by default. All right now I have normal map loaded in my scene. I can see the differences by cutting the uh, connection between the uh, output normal and input normal of the shader by pressing the control and right click. Also, I can increase the strength if needed. Next, uh, I need to import the roughness and change the color space to non-color and then connect the color to roughness. Now we have wet and rough areas. I can increase or decrease the wet and rough areas by using nodes. For example, contrast node or multiply node. Let's try contrast node. Uh, Shift A and search for contrast, brightness and contrast. And connect it to the color and now I can change the contrast. I can see some differences here. It's too wet.
This failure works well, I think. Okay, good. Now let's switch to the render mode. Here I need to change the lighting. I want to use uh, HDRI. Uh, in this section from object, switch to world. Here I need to load an HDRI to apply uh, lighting globally. Press Shift A and search for environment texture. Next, let's open an HDRI texture. I downloaded these HDRs from HDRI Haven. Let's open one of them. For example, this. Okay, now uh, we need to connect the color output to the color input of the background node. All right, it's good. Let's delete this point light. It's good. Now the question is how to rotate uh, light direction. I need to add a texture coordinate node to the HDRI texture. For this work, I need to select it and press Ctrl T, but uh, it doesn't work. I need to uh, activate a specific module. Uh, go to the edit and then preferences. And next go to the add-ons. And search for node Wrangler. And activate it. Now if I press Ctrl T, it will apply. Now if I change the Z-axis, I can rotate the HDRI and lighting. It's good. The next option I need to set up is subsurface scattering. This option is very useful for a skin surface. Go to the object uh, mode and I need to change this section and increase the weight based on your needs. Now I need to change other values, for example, scale. Higher scale value gives you more subsurface scattering effect. Using this effect, uh, the light passes through the skin uh, or surface. This value works well. Let's compare it with uh, with and without surface scattering. As you can see, it's not the world. All right, good. I explained subsurface scattering in detail in the tutorial here. Let's enable the ray tracing, which is available in new EV and here. Activated. All right. You can see it's beautiful. We don't have shadow leakage issue and other uh, detailed problems with ray tracing activated. We can also change the precision and increase it to achieve more detail and also thickness. It gives you thicker shadows. I explained ray tracing in detail in the tutorial here. All right, next, let's add the other textures. Horn texture. First, drag the base color. And then normal map on color and the roughness. I do need to activate subsurf scattering for the horn. Next, let's import the eye textures. Then add normal map and then roughness. All 
All right, it's good. I need to activate subsurface scattering for the eye. And a high scale value is needed. This value works well, I think. All right, good. In the next step, I need to configure the compositor. Press use nodes to activate the nodes and then add the effects. The first effect I need to add is glare node. Let's place it here. Change the glare type to fog glow or bloom. I prefer to select fog glow. Now let's enable real time compositor. Open this menu and then in the compositor section, select always or camera if you want to see the effects through the camera. Here I can increase the size and next go to the highlights and reduce the threshold. All right, it's good. I think 0 0.3 is better. In the next step, I need to add another effect called lens distortion. Let's activate the feed and uh, increase the dispersion. As you can see, an effect will be added and it gives you a cinematic look to the scene. This value works well, or even smaller than this value. All right, it's good. Now let's configure the camera. Uh, press zero on the numpad and here let's zoom in i can't rotate the camera through the camera view i need to press the n key and then go to the view and activate the camera to view and then press n again here i can rotate the camera all right here i can change the focal length if needed for example, change it to 40 for more cinematic view. And then activate the depth of field to add fade effect for uh, far distance. Activate it. And then I need to change the focus distance. For see it better, uh, we can decrease the FS up and then adjust the focus distance and then revert the fs up or choose a higher value for example one it's good as you can see uh with depth of field uh the far distance is faded all right this is the final result you can add other effects such as volume and background instead of this and other effects thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and feel free to share your questions and ideas in the comments